So, we start uh, our round of interviews with Jaco Vicker. Jaco, uh, ni nice to have you here. It's, uh, I, I, I don't know how many meetings have you been uh, uh, right now uh, since you started again. Um, and, uh, not many. <laughs> not many? <laughs> uh, that's a bit imprecise, I have to oh, say. So this would be the first one, in fact. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, you have come back to the MSX uh, quite, uh, quite a while ago. I, I mean, not, not so long uh, you've been he around here. Yeah, so about three years ago, uh, during Corona, I picked up uh, MSX again. Uh, because I uh, basically needed a hobby. And uh, MSX seemed to be, uh, well, quite suitable for that, and I enjoyed that a lot in the past. So I decided to pick it up again. So you removed the, the dust from the MSX, and Baldi, you went. <laughs> uh, in fact, I didn't have a single MSX at home at all. So I bought my first one again uh, three years ago. Okay, then, uh, and then you, uh, you make, uh, you decide, uh, you learn something about uh, MSX development. Uh, yeah contest and you say why not <laughs> yeah exactly uh, so I, I started programming uh, the MSX again uh, I did it in the past as well uh, but now there's all those new tools you can program the MSX in, in C++ which is uh, quite a bit more convenient uh, there's good libraries you can develop on the PC so it was completely different than in the past and then you make uh, you, how do you learn about this MSX development uh, contest you, you start to check, or to browse, and then you, you find it. Yeah, exactly. So you, you end up on msx.org, of course, which mm -hmm. is uh, where everyone seems to gather around uh, MSX. So uh, on, on msx.org, there was this uh, message about uh, MSX GL, the game mm -hmm. library that people use now to, to develop games for MSX. And I decided to check it out, and it was quite suitable. Okay, and then you start to, to, do, to make a game. Yeah, and you present it to the to the contest. Yeah, and all of a sudden you are the third. Exactly. <laughs> uh, the, say the name of the game. Ah, Eggie's Maze. Eggie's Egg Maze. Yes. It's uh, it's pretty much like uh, Egglet Mystery. Mystery. Exactly. Yes. So this is the game you like it in the in the eighties. Exactly. I enjoyed it a lot, and uh, I thought, well, it would be nice if we have a version of Eggland Mystery that is taken to the to the current time. Uh, with with fresh graphics, uh, different performance, and uh, more levels, something like that. Surprise! You get third. Yep. <laughs> I mean, uh, it, it's uh, <coughs> sorry. It does not happen uh, often that uh, you you um, are supposed to be making more and more games, and then to reach the the top positions. Right. <coughs> but then. How do you uh, how do you feel uh, like uh, coming <laughs> coming back and then, and then be, yeah. uh, becoming uh, you get the third place? Yeah, yeah, uh, quite surprised. Um, <coughs> like you like you said, you would expect to uh, to uh, gradually uh, move up from uh, a uh, lower position to uh, to that. Um, but yeah, the, the, the tools were right, the time was right, and uh, it, it worked out for me. And uh, do you feel like doing something, uh, doing another project or something? I now might, that Corona yeah. is gone, uh, maybe yeah, yeah. you say, uh, well... Yeah. Uh, I, I, I might. Um, I have, I have some, uh, some projects uh, in, in mind that, uh, that I might be working on the next year. I'm not sure if I will hand in a game again for MSX Dev uh, Contest. Uh, well, not 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 this year, I guess. Maybe maybe next year. Okay, but uh, you you still expe expect to to keep doing things? I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, how do you feel? Uh, because uh, you were uh, the first time I saw you in, in person was at the, the at the Goto Forty. Yeah. You you had not come to an M6 meeting before, I think. Yeah, I, I visited this one here in, in ah. Nijmegen for, for, for an hour last year. Uh, Not really much. <laughs> exactly, that doesn't count. So, uh, Go to 40 was, uh, was the first big event that I went to. Uh, and now today here, uh, which is also a very nice event. Um, yeah. Did you, uh, um, did you wear uh, in the 90s, um, do, uh, I, I mean, 
during during the 90s you were uh, active um, yeah you 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 were uh, buying the homebrew at the that uh, Umax made that the Sunrise produced and so on uh, or you were totally disconnected um, uh, it, it was different. You didn't, you didn't really have internet and everything. So, uh, mm. but I, I did I did work quite a bit with uh, with magazines back in the day. Uh, wrote a game actually that was uh, published in uh, MSX Hits uh, back in the day. Yes, uh, in, in the Belgian uh, exactly. MCM. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Which uh, I, uh, when I say Belgian, I re never remember if the Belgian was the MSX Computer Magazine or the MSX Club Magazine. The MSX Club magazine, that's the one. Okay. Yes. The one from Wayne's Wetkop, I think. No, that's the other one, in fact. Wames Wetkop, that, that, that was from the Dutch uh, magazine. Ah, okay. Yes. And then, uh, and how do you see uh, the 90s and now? Most probably, uh, well, you see the people older. <laughs> ah, yeah. Um, the. the, the it, in, in the 90s, it was uh, it was more interesting to to be programming because you would you would be more on your own and it would be more about uh, um, making a game in in isolation. And these days, you you work in large groups, which is sometimes harder. Well, uh, you actually you made the game by by yourself. Yeah, I did. Yes. Uh, the graphics, the music, yeah. uh, and, the yeah. uh, and of course the coding. Yeah, that's I correct. I guess that uh, you you are a programmer for a living. Uh, you uh, sort of. I'm a, I'm a I'm a lecturer. Ah, yes. So you work at the university or something? Yes, yes. Fine, an academic. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's and, nice. and actually, I, I I teach game development, so it's quite uh, quite related to this. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Uh, uh, so, and can you tell uh, a bit about your next project, or <laughs> it's a secret? Ah, no, it's not a secret, not really. Uh, the project I have in mind would be uh, a, a racing game mm -hmm. where uh, I want to make use of the fact that uh, a modern game, game on MSX can use far more memory than we had in the past. Mm -hmm. So I would like to see if it's possible to record the 3D output of a 3D engine on the PC and play that back on the MSX to have polygon graphics, basically. Wow. Um, that's that's basically what I have in mind. Then most probably you have been watching that uh, that uh, that other game that was in the in the MSX Dev, the Sheldon Ring. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and that of course was uh, requiring a Turbo R. Uh, I would like to see if something like that is possible on an MSX2 computer uh, by basically using <laughs> the large pool of memory. Okay, okay. Then uh, I I hope that uh, you have found your return to this uh, to the scene satisfactory. Yes, so far <laughs> definitely. Very you, nice then, you are really really welcome to to come back and to explain your your projects and so on. Okay. I ho I, I hope uh, we can uh, we can meet again uh, he either here or in Barcelona. I'm sure we will. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much.